In today's video, we are taking this crab and turning it into what might be the best crab cake you have ever had. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I am your host, Farnham, and today I have crabs. That is right, I've got some snow crabs and we are turning them into what might just be the world's best crab cake. Before we jump into that though, please scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and drop a comment below and let me know if you have ever had crabs before to eat obviously. But yes, like I said, we have got a buttery crab cake. It is full of crab. We got some nice vegetables in there for some crunch, a beautiful remoulade sauce. And we're gonna top it off with some lemony micro greens. I'll say no more other than watch the B-roll. Let's go. Oh, no, I'm the crab cake king. The crab right. cake king. All right, no, no, that is not for real. I'm gonna judge the f out of you for this CCK. One. I'm just letting you know that. If this is not the best crab cake you've ever had, I'll suck out of you. <laughs> I never had it, so uh, it better be good. Are you gonna ruin it for me? Let's Forever. get it, baby. All right, so before we jump into the ingredients, I know it's a little extensive, but we're making the crab cakes, the remoulade sauce, and a little bit of a spring mix topping on there for you. It's all from scratch, and it's, I swear, it's the best you ever had. So the first thing you're gonna need is fresh crab legs or lump crab that you can buy in your seafood department. It'll be in a can. This definitely does have a little more flavor though. Butter, mayo, an egg, Dijon mustard, microgreens, Italian parsley, celery, red bell pepper, chives, small shallot, garlic, lemon, olive oil, garlic dill pickles, what the f sauce, Old Bay seasoning, Cajun seasoning, capers, hot sauce. This one it smacks and panko breadcrumbs. All right, so we're gonna start with the prep work and we have our crab right here. I did not wanna waste y'all time and spend the next 30 minutes cracking it on camera, so I pre-cracked most of it. I have enough for one pound of crab meat. I bought two pounds of snow crab. You could do snow crab, Dungeness crab, or you could buy the lump crab meat in the cans, like I said. So if you did buy snow, I'm gonna show you how to crack it right now. All we're gonna do is separate each leg, then we're gonna start from the top and gently pull every piece apart and pull the meat out. Whoa. Then on the bottom piece, I usually take a pair of scissors, I run it down the length of the crab leg, split it in half, and throw that into the bowl. We want to keep these chunky, do not break the crab apart. Then when we finally get to the cluster at the bottom, I just take my scissors, I split each section open, and pull that crab meat out. All right, once you've got all your crab picked, we're gonna put that to the side, and now we are going to make what is the crab cake. And we are gonna start by doing one quarter cup of mayo, and we're gonna crack an egg in, and we are gonna mix it up until it is nice and homogenous. All right, so once this is whisked smooth, there's no more lumps in there, we're gonna very finely cut up a quarter cup worth of celery. I like to run a few lines down the length of the celery stick, then I go ahead and give it a nice fine chop, scoop it up into the bowl. All right, next we're gonna do the same with a red bell pepper. We need a quarter cup, slice the side off, give it some thin slices down the length and hit it with the cross chop, scoop it up into the bowl. All right, next we're gonna add a quarter cup of chives, cut them in half, line them up, and then give them a nice fine chop, scoop them up into the bowl. All right, next we got some Italian parsley. All we're gonna do is twist Twist off a little handful, we're gonna fold it in on itself and then we're gonna hit it with a nice fine chop. We want a tablespoon's worth, scoop it up into the bowl. Then we add one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Next, we got half a tablespoon of what the f sauce. Next, we've got about one teaspoon of lemon juice. Next, we've got one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. Now we mix. Now we're gonna put our crab in and we're going to gently fold the batter into the crab because we don't wanna break those chunks apart. All right, so once we have a nice mix on this and everything is coated, we still got our big chunks and our lumps in there, all we're doing for the filler is adding a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs and folding that in. I am not down with those crab cakes full of breadcrumbs and crackers. I wanna taste the crab. Oh, so fire. Okay, so what we're gonna do we're gonna make our remoulade sauce, but we gotta put this in the fridge for 20 minutes because we want those panko crumbs to kind of absorb as much of that moisture as we can. That way we get some nice, dense crab cake. So 20 minutes in the fridge. All right, next we're gonna make our Remo sauce. This right here will change your whole life. We're gonna do half a cup of mayo. Next, we have half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, half a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. All right, before you do your garlic, you're gonna need to preheat your oven to 500. I forgot, let's go. 
Next, we got one tablespoon of parsley. All we're gonna do is twist off the ends of this, then we're gonna fold it in on itself and hit it with a very fine chop, scoop it up into the bowl. All right, next we got chives. We're gonna do a quarter cup. All we're gonna do is line them up and hit them with a nice, thin slice. Scoop them up into the bowl. All right, next we are going to finely chop one and a half tablespoons worth of pickles. We're gonna run some thin lines through it, cross chop, scoop it up into the bowl. All right, next we've got one tablespoon of finely chopped capers. Lay these out, give them a press so they don't roll around and hit this with a very fine chop, scoop it up into the bowl. Next we got a shallot. We're gonna just chop that in half, peel that outer shell off, then we're gonna go ahead and run some thin lines, hit a nice cross chop for a fine dice, scoop it up into the bowl. Half a tablespoon of pickle juice. Next, one tablespoon of lemon juice. Next, one teaspoon of your favorite hot sauce, 20 cranks of black pepper, and two pinches of kosher salt. Now we mix. All right, taste test. Here we go. That's insanity. Okay, so just like any other sauce that we make, we're gonna put this in the fridge right now, and the longer we leave it in there, the more those flavors are gonna blend together and become cohesive, and it's going to be an incredible Remo sauce. The oven just went off, it's 500 degrees, so what we're gonna do now, well, I'll just show you. All right, so we got our crab. We're about to turn them into crab cakes. There's one other thing I wanna show you, and it's a cookie cutter. Now, you can obviously do these patties by hand, but if you want them to look really nice for the presentation and cohesive, go ahead and get yourself a little cookie cutter in the shape of a circle. This is two and a half by one inch. It works perfect. All right, first, I'm gonna use my avocado spray and hit this baking sheet. Then, I'm gonna go ahead and lightly grab that crab. I'm gonna give it a nice, light squeeze because I wanna get as much moisture out as I can without breaking the crab apart. Part. Then I'm gonna put the cookie cutter on my hand, pack it with the crab, give it a nice little squeeze, and we're just gonna pack this thing until it is nice and full and as dense as possible. And once we feel good about it, we're gonna put it onto the baking sheet and just lightly remove that cookie cutter. We're just gonna continue to do this until we run out of our crab. All right, our oven is ready, our crab cakes are ready. They smell and look beautiful. Now, a lot of people like to cook these on the frying pan with butter. We do need to get them buttery, so all I have is six slices of cold butter right here. I'm just gonna top each one of these with a little bit of this butter so it just slowly melts into all the crevices of that crab cake. It is going to taste amazing. I got a little guy back here. All right, and now we're gonna put it into the oven for eight minutes. Once that eight minutes is up, we're gonna go ahead and put the broiler on medium for like two minutes just to make sure these get nice and crispy on top. It'll be perfect, let's go. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do while we got our crab cakes in there, it'll take just a minute or two. We've got our micro greens. We're gonna do a little garnish on top, something to give it a little pop, a little zing, it'll be perfect. Perfect. Add a handful of our microgreens to a bowl. Then we're gonna hit it with a generous squeeze of lemon, a little pinch of salt, some black cracked pepper, and we're gonna finish it off with a drizzle of olive oil, and we're just gonna lightly toss that. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes is up for our broil. It's gonna be a little smoky, but oh, jeez. Wow, just look at those. These look incredible. The smell is intoxicating. I cannot wait to plate these. You see it, you smell it, and now I'm gonna show you how to plate it and taste it. Let's go, B-roll. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the moment you've all been waiting for. As you can see, we've got a few plates here, which means we've got a few taste testers. You've seen them all before. Lucius, Leroycious, <laughs> Leroycious, I okay. like that. So what's interesting is Lou's never had crab before and Leroy is literally a crab cake connoisseur. Here we go, right. and three, two, one. Mm. That snow crab is so sweet. Good as what I, the first thing I notice is it's way more crab than breading. The sauce is like, it cuts like right through it and like the flavor is just, it's fire. Mm. I ain't gonna care, you did your thing? Oh, damn. <laughs> I never had crab cake. Lewis, what happened? It's the only crab cake I've ever had. I don't know if it's good or bad crab cake, but it's good food. I f with it, I love seafood. I don't care, this might, this, might, this might be top, this might be top, top crab cake. No cap? Yeah, no, nah, for real. It's so meaty. That sauce goes crazy. Yeah, yeah. Remy Lot. Yeah, yeah. And what else? 
Remulade. Remulade. Oh, okay, okay. Remulade? Yeah. Remulade? 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 Some people say remulade. remulade. I say remulade. My name is Leroy. You can say Leroy if you want to be fancy about it. <laughs> I'm Hispanic. Right. I'll mess up the word anyway, so. This was crazy is that's like 60 bucks for oh, yeah, a restaurant. Facts. Yeah, I feel like you can make that at home pretty easily too. Even if you're not like Yeah, a it's a little, it's, you know what? It's a little just, practice. Yeah, yeah, it's a little, it's, it's fire. That's what it is. It was so. just so meaty. Like it was so much meat in it. Like the, the amount of meat in the, the Okay, the meat. Okay, okay. Right, it was just the right, meat. Okay, okay. The meat. All right, don't forget the meat. All right, we're gonna do the star scale real quick. Lewis, five out of five. Five out of easy, five. Easy, easy. Five out of five. Everything you make is delicious on the show, but so far that takes the cake. Woo! Hey, the crab cake. Like yeah. yeah. Nah, nah, nah. That's good. Yeah. That was funny. <laughs> Anyways, um, five stars. Like I said, I say. I feel like I say this every week, bro. This is this right here is my favorite. It's my favorite dish. That, uh, all more seasoning? All, all time. All uh, time. 100%. 100%. Let's 100%. That's my favorite one. That is the 100%. Best thing you've that's been my doing favorite. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of good mm -hmm. This right here is the best thing I've had on this channel. Let's go. Yeah, this oh, wow. Um, I don't really know what else to give it, man. Yeah. If I could give it more than a five, I would, because this is really that good. It's the best crap cook I've ever had. Bro, so. appreciate it. All right. Yes, sir. Do Delicious. Good job. Listen, you know if it's on the show, in my book, it's five stars. This is a five-star crab cake. It's dense. It's full of meat. You can't beat it. The herbs, the, the veggies, the, the sauce, everything about it is just beautiful. It's one of my favorite things that I've ever made. Clearly, it's theirs too. Hey, listen, if you're still watching, please scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and tell me who you think is more likely to have crabs, Leroy or Lewis. You let me know. Hey, I appreciate y'all for watching. My name is Farnham. This is more seasoning. These are quite possibly the best crab cakes that you will ever taste in your entire life. We out.